I know the box says it's New Zealand's favorite wine, but I'm not sure when that box was from. But what we're gonna make is a carrier for it. Boxes of wine are all different dimensions, so if you do something like this, you have to build it to the dimensions of the boxes that you want. These will be about 14 inches long. These are about seven and a half inches. Uh, that is about four and a quarter inch. So the first thing to do was to rip all the main pieces of stock together. I didn't, I just made one gauge line and sewn to it. And then I used my eye and just judged all the other lines. They were fairly accurate and easily tuned up with the hand plane. To me, this project's about doing something simple and easy without being highly accurate. So for what it is, I think it turned out pretty well. And I would definitely suggest trying it because it takes all the pressure off of you when you're building real nice quality pieces. I needed some longer pieces, so I went back and ripped some more. You can see where I leveraged, broke a piece out there. Just to make sure they weren't gonna split out, I drilled tiny pilot holes in all these pieces and used a right angle brace that I have to nail everything together. These center slats were just eyed up and nailed. I got the edges on and I had a nice little crate right there. I wanted it to be just this on the end, which would have made life so much easier. Uh, I probably should have tried it again, but I didn't. Um, so I went on to these four pieces and they were gonna be here but uh, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be as solid as I want it to be, so, because it would have to be doubled up like, like that, and um, I'm not okay with that. So I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna recut four corner pieces. So I went back and I made a piece that was half of an inch wide here. And a big shout out to Renaissance Woodworker who gave me some advice. This was the best rip sawing I've ever done in my vice. I couldn't believe how well I followed the line this time. marking knife and marking gauge to mark out the rebates or shoulders that I'm going to put on these new pieces. I will tell you, I wouldn't do things in the order that I did them this time. I was really feeling out a lot of this project, but the holes that I drill in these uprights later, I should have done them before I nailed this on.
just go into this real quick right now. This isn't really what I was envisioning for this. I think it would have been better with using a solid piece there, which I can't get down there. There it is. Using a solid piece there and drilling that hole. Um, if I do show it, I was doing that earlier with that, but that broke because that broke because I was trying to use this bit. The snail on the end of this is too big and I didn't think it through. So this basically, this the snail just went and wedged the board apart in the middle. Didn't think that out, should have made a hole for that snail and it would have been fine. That would have probably been a better option than this, but that's okay because hey, it's still classy. And then I stacked all the uprights together and drilled them together. This made the hole go a little bit off center. So the second time I did it, the two other holes, I did it just in pairs. And here's where I was drilling those uprights. And I really should have done this before I assembled it. Cut some dowel rods for the stretchers along the bottom. And I used nails to pin them the dowel rod in place. I also used larger nails to hold those pins in place. The one thing I forgot to make was a, a cross piece to hold the legs at a specific distance apart. So I had to go back and make one that would fit over top of the rails. And then it was racking too much so I had to create a little ledge on the back to keep the legs from racking. Zealand's favorite wine with us. Um, and once we get to the beach, keep that out of the sand. Flip her down, right about there. Put down this clutch. We're good to go. You drink all day, don't get sand on your bow. It is a little cheesy. Yes, you're right, but ugh, I think it's, it's a good example of something you can make without being too accurate, you know, go out to your garage, make something. But that last thing, you probably didn't see real well, it's this piece right here, and that's to keep it from racking too far, which it will. I've been drawing this thing for months, so there are different ideas that I have to alter it. But please subscribe, like, and comment. Um, go out and make something real classy.